Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly and today I'm going to make two beach themed wine glasses. I've done beach themed tumblers before but never wine glasses. So I'm starting off by sanding two wine glasses with an 80 grit sand sanding block. I'm going to sand the entire surface just not the very very bottom portion on the underside of the wine stem but everything else is going to get sanded and then I'm going to insert a tumbler turner arm with a foam piece into both of these tumblers before I begin mixing up my epoxy. I am mixing up a large batch of epoxy and then I'm going to separate that batch of epoxy into a whole bunch of little cups and each of those little cups is going to be one color each of the mica powders that I'm using. So I showed a picture at the very beginning of this video and that picture is going to be what I'm trying to match the colors to and so I'm just lining those colors up from the bottom to the top so dark to um, the peachy color into the sky and then at the very end I'll finish Finish off the um, mica powder application with the white beachy waves. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this and um, get those micas mixed in and then we'll start applying it to the tumblers. I keep saying tumblers because I'm used to using tumblers but wine glasses. So whenever I say tumbler just substitute that word for a wine glass. So here I am applying, I am applying the um, layer of epoxy all over the wine glass and I'm going to let that sit and um, hit it with a torch to pop any remaining bubbles. I have the bottom of that wine stem taped off because I don't want any epoxy on the bottom side of it. It just makes for an easier cleanup. So I'm just going to apply this really quickly and then even it out, hit it with a torch, and then I'm ready to start applying the first colors of mica powder. Okay, so here we go. The first mica powder I'm going to be applying on the very bottom portion of the wine glass and then onto the stem and down onto the base. So this is that sandy color, the really deep, dark, rich brown. It's so, so pretty. I'll make sure I list all the mica powders that I'm using as well as the epoxy that I'm using where I got the wine glasses. And also um, I will just link the name. I found that image on Pinterest for the beach. I don't know if it has a name of the person who originally took that photo, um, but I can um, definitely um, give credit to the person who posted it on Pinterest. So I'm just go ahead and applying the first layer of mica and then on top of that above and kind of um, within the brown, I'm going to apply the peach and I'm going to work my way up in the colors as I go. This process I sped up just one time. Um, it does, in real time, it really does go very quickly. You just wanna get those mica powders on there, just let them do their thing. Um, you don't have to be super neat about it, just <laughs> slap them on there, because now you're gonna take, once you get that final color on there and it's um, as thick as you want and everything is kind of blended into, you know, not blended, but you've put everything in sort of this section of the tumbler or the wine glass that you um, like, then you're gonna take a heat gun and you are going to move your heat gun up and down your tumbler or wine glass to move those micas into one another and you can spread those out you can move them up you can have them pull down whatever you prefer so i just kind of blended them all within and then pushed the blues up toward that blank spot on top i wanted there to be a clear area left on top of the wine tumbler but i didn't want you know like a, a super large clear area so i wanted some of those blue epoxies i mean uh, micas to push up into that area so once I have those blended the way I like, then I'm gonna take the white for the waves and I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top. And then you can see there's little blank spots. I have white tissue paper or white um, paper towels in the tumbler. So right now it looks like the white beach waves have already been applied, but they haven't. That's just the white tissue that you're seeing through the glass of the, the wine tumbler. So now I'm gonna apply the white and then I'm gonna move that around again with a heat gun and then um, add just a couple more touches, splashes of the brown because there were still some very sparse areas. 
And I really don't know what the heck is going on with my voice. I have had a cold so many times this year. It's not even funny. And I've lost my voice two or maybe three times. So this is actually really good. And I'm um, recovering. And I feel fine. It's just that my voice is straining. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my best here. So I've applied the white. Now I'm going to actually use another white on top of it. And that is from Mermaid Trash. It is the coolest foamy beach white mica, I mean, a um, epoxy additive that when you apply heat to it, it makes the coolest looking waves. So after I have the white mica powder applied to the areas where I want it to look a little wavy, then I'm going to go over the top of it with the really bright white foam from um, Mermaid Trash. Okay, so now I have two tumblers here. The one on top I did yesterday. So that one has already cured and dried. I just did it as an experiment to see if I would like this enough to make a video, and I did, so I did a second one. So the one on top is totally dry. I'm gonna apply one layer of epoxy, and then all that tumbler needs is just the application of the Mermaid Trash White Foam that's going to blend and look like really cool beachy waves. The tumbler on the bottom, everything on it is wet. So the white foam from Mermaid Trash is going to mix and blend through the epoxy and the mica powders a little bit differently than um, the one on top. So you'll see what the two of those look like side by side when they're done. So I'm just pouring that more Mermaid Trash um, a white foam mix over the top of both of them. And then I'm going to use my heat gun again to move those waves around. Okay, so now I'm taking my heat gun and I am pushing those waves. I'm going to push the heat moving the waves upward and then I'm going to push it moving the waves down. And I like that look how they mix all around the tumbler. Um, one of these days I would like to try sort of overlapping or overlaying um, different epoxy layers with the waves to kind of push them in more of a symmetrical sort of design. But for now, I like the way this looks, how it kind of flows around the tumbler and it just looks very almost like free handish or free free motion I guess I don't know I am just continuing this way so I'm just applying more waves as I want and then pushing them around with a heat gun in whichever direction I choose <laughs> and then um, let those spin in opposite directions about three or four times so that if you don't, if you let your tumbler or wine glass spin in one direction the entire time, what happens is you have these very sort of thin horizontal movement patterns and it just looks, it just doesn't look as interesting. So I like to stop my tumblers and spin them opposite directions. So the colors stop blending into one another and then they go backwards. And so you'll create um, kind of like these clumps of areas that have big bursts of color and then you'll have these little tails that spin around and um, kind of thin out as they move so I think that looks really neat. Before walking away you want to make sure you peel that tape off the bottom otherwise you'll be sorry. <laughs> Your epoxy will stick to the tape and then you'll have to use a knife and cut it off and it's a big pain in the butt. So take that tape off the bottom of your tumbler or wine glass, whatever it is that you're using. And then I just used some paper towel dipped in acetone to um, very carefully rub any residue off that may have dripped over the edge. And here is what they look like. All ready to um, just leave alone and walk away. And I think they're looking pretty cool. So the very next morning, I took them off the tumbler turners and the one on the right is the one that I made the day previous. The one on the left only has one coat of epoxy with the mica powders mixed in and that's all it needs. It doesn't need another coat of epoxy. Everything is smooth and blended and it's beautiful. So now I decided instead of just leaving it just plain, I went one step further and I forgot that I had these, this big container of shells that I think I got at either Michael's or Amazon. I'll make sure I link, link the link where I got them below. And I thought it would look really cool to apply more of a three-dimensional beachy sort of um, uh, accent 
to the bottom of the tumblers. So I'm just going to layer the shells on top of one another. I'm going to apply them with UV resin, cure them, and then over the top of the shells, I'm going to apply one final very thin layer of UV resin just to make sure that they're waterproof because I don't want a bunch of water getting under the shells and sitting there. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't ruin them. They are shells, but I think it would just be a mess if you're taking a drink of your wine glass and then water from when you washed it spilled into your hand. I just think that's annoying. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I sealed those um, really good. Once you have those shells completely sealed, your wine glasses are done. So really, um, there's not a lot of steps to this project. It just You just wanna take your time mixing the epoxy so you don't have a bunch of bubbles. Make sure you don't mix too much mica powder into your little cups of epoxy when you're applying. Um, use your heat gun to move your micas around, but not so much that it just flows in a big liquidy stream off your tumblers and doesn't really show any um, sort of cool designs. And that's pretty much it. And then put your little shells on there. So this was the picture that I was copying. I wish I would have put more orangey in there, but I still really like the way it turned out. Next time I make this, I'm definitely going to add some more orange, or maybe I'll do like a um, sort of like pastel-y beach theme. I think that would be pretty too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have a voice. Please leave any questions or comments below. I will link all the products that I used. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I also have another video that I'm going to link where I did uh, the same technique on a couple tumblers and a notebook. So I'll link that at the very end of this video too. So thank you so much.